Hello there, welcome to my views and news. Three news stories for you. First one is from Gondar City, where pamphlets are being dropped and distributed by Afano fighters. A warning to locals in Gondar City. Secondly, Sudan Eritrea relations atop a Sudanese leader is in Asmara. Uh, Asmara Burhan Alliance. Uh, Burhan Esas Avoki Alliance is not something new. We have been reporting about that for weeks. Now, a new visit by a top Sudanese official uh, to Asmara. And importantly, the man, the visitor, spoke about the security of eastern states of Eritrea or the state sharing border with uh, Sudan. Thirdly, for the first time, UAE has spoken about Ethiopia, Somalia tensions. At Arab League meeting yesterday, UAE representative delivered a speech as well. What did he say? And one African country, it seems, supported Ethiopia. Which African country? Uh, we have details for you in this video. Firstly, we have Gondar city where Fano fighters have carried out some incursions in the past few weeks. A few months ago, they took full control of Gondar city. Then military launched a counter-offensive and Fano fighters had to withdraw. After that, we saw Fano's entry into Gondar several times. And uh, after... Uh, two days after around 48 hours, Orthodox Christians will celebrate a major religious uh, festival, Temkit festival or Epiphany. And uh, when Temkit is celebrated in Gonda city, tens of thousands attend such celebrations. You can see a picture on your screen. The picture is from uh, a few years ago. It's from Gondar city. This is the crowd which gathered on Temkit in Gondar a few years ago. Gondar, Addis Ababa, other places are heart of uh, these celebrations. But Pano fighters are sending a clear message to the locals of Gondar city that uh, no one should uh, publicly celebrate Timkit. Epiphany public celebrations will not be tolerated by Fano fighters. Fano commanders are appearing in media, giving interviews, and now reportedly pamphlets, flyers are being distributed, they are being dropped on squares in neighborhoods and people are being warned that they should not attend any Timkit celebration. They should stay indoor. They should stay at home. A few days ago, we saw that uh, Ethiopian Christmas could not be celebrated in Gonda City too. Fano fighters disrupted the Christmas celebrations. Why are Fano fighters disrupting Timkit celebrations now? Well, Fano fighters say that uh, the money raised from such celebrations goes to the government and government buys weapons uh, from this money to use against civilians. That is why government should be denied this uh, opportunity of raising funds. Uh, what is the position of Orthodox Church of Ethiopia, by the way? Why is the church silent? Which criticizes the government, that government is uh, imposing restrictions on the movement of its people and government is demanding apology from church about Abu Nilokas' remarks. But here, Fano fighters are threatening the people. They are saying no one should go out to celebrate Epiphany. Church is silent. No statement from the church so far. Are church and Fano on one page? What is the reason behind church silence? That is always quick to blame the government. But when it comes to blaming Fano fighters, church remains silent. We saw just a few isolated statements uh, from uh, a few church elders like Abuna Irmias spoke once. 
and some other uh, archbishops too, but mainly no one statement from church condemning Fano's actions. Fano's are restricting orthodox church celebrations. They are banning church celebrations and church is nowhere to be seen. Let's see, if, will Abu Abraham speak? He's always quick to blame the government. Will he say anything about what is happening in Gondar too? Let's see, after two days, on the 20th of January, uh, Epiphany will be celebrated in Amhara region, not in Amhara, in, in entire Ethiopia. Big celebrations are expected in Addis Ababa where some restrictions are being imposed. People are being told they should not carry any flag without star sign. You should only carry official Ethiopian flag. So we could see tensions in Addis Ababa and in parts of Amhara, especially in Gondar city. Secondly, we was another top Sudanese diplomat diplomat government official leader is in Asmara these minutes. Asmara is backing Sudanese military now. Though Asmara claims to be neutral, it is not neutral in this war in Sudan. Asmara is clearly taking sides, like Egypt is taking sides too, UAE is taking sides too, Ethiopia relatively uh, silent, but it is uh, it is said that Ethiopia has soft corner for the rapid sword forces. Malik Agar is the head of Sudan People Liberation Movement and uh, he is now working as the head of Sudan Sovereignty Council, deputy head of Sovereignty Council. Sovereignty Council is the top body in Sudan which is uh, uh, ruling. Uh, Al Burhan, the army chief, is head of this Sovereignty Council. Hamathi was deputy head before the start of war between Hamathi and Burhan, but now Hamathi has been fired and in, in Hamathi's place, Malik Agar has been appointed as the deputy head of uh, Sovereignty Council. Malik Agar is in Asmara. He had a meeting with the SAS Evoki written president. And after that, he spoke. He released a message. He says that the two discussed issues of regional security uh, and uh, the two agreed on working, collaborating for peace and stability. He says that he discussed the situation of Sudanese too, or who fled Sudan and who are now in Eritrea because of war. And importantly, he mentioned that uh, he discussed with Eritrean president the security of Eritrean states bordering Sudan. How to stop the war from spreading towards Eritrea? That was also discussed. And that is what Eritrea wants. Eritrea does not want RSF to reach its borders. That is why Eritrea is back in Sudanese military. Eritrea is training some elements in Darfur too. It's not a secret now, oh, by the way, people know that. If Eritrea is taking a position in support of military, obviously it will do something to support the military. Otherwise, it should stay neutral. It is not neutral. Uh, Burhan has visited Asmara, Malik Agar to Jibrail Ibrahim as well, Miniminavi to no visit by any RSF leader to Eritrea so far. Hamathi has visited several countries in the past few days. He visited Ethiopia, Djibouti, Uganda, Kenya. No visit of uh, Egypt and Eritrea because the two, Egypt and Eritrea, are supporting Sudanese military. So, uh, again, a confirmation that Eritrea is backing Sudan's ability. It wants to keep RSF away from its borders. It is backing some training. Uh, it is training some uh, Sudanese military backed elements in Sudan to keep RSF away from Eritrean borders. Thirdly, for the first time, United Arab Emirates has taken a position about Ethiopia, Somalia, Somali land tensions. UAE, it is said, is behind the MOU between Somaliland and Ethiopia, which has, which has created regional shock waves. Somalia has not officially accused UAE so far. UAE has its uh, uh, hand in what is happening in Sudan too, but Sudanese military is openly accusing UAE, calling it a mafia. Sudan, I think, uh, expelled uh, some. Uh, uh, officials of the countries which are allegedly supporting uh, RSF. UAE spokesperson at Arab League delivered a speech yesterday. Arab League held a meeting yesterday. It was uh, a virtual meeting. 
and UAE representative there spoke and he called for respect of Somalia, territorial integrity and sovereignty. He did not condemn Ethiopia, Somaliland, MOU, but he called for respect for Somalia's territorial integrity and sovereignty. The statement is being shared by several Somali news sources as if UAE has announced its support for Somalia. UAE has not condemned Ethiopia, Somaliland, MOU so far. All the statements issued so far are calling for respect for, for Somalia's territorial integrity and sovereignty. So, UE cannot take a different position, obviously. Uh, it does not mean that UE supports Somalia the way Egypt is supporting Somalia or the way some other countries are supporting Somalia. You will, you will try to portray itself as neutral, but uh, we know that it has very close ties with the Ethiopian government. Secondly, one African country indirectly supported Ethiopia yesterday at Arab League meeting. The country called for restraint, called upon the member states of Arab League to, to show restraint that uh, the countries in the Horn of Africa, East Africa should work towards regional integration. The regional integration should be encouraged. Africa, uh, African Arab coordination and relations should not uh, take a hit because of uh, actions by some uh, members of Arab League. Which country? Algeria. Algeria, it seems, uh, yesterday at Arab League meeting took a pro-Ethiopia position. It did not condemn Ethiopia, Somalia and MOU. Rather, it asked other countries to, uh, to work towards regional integration. So, those who back Ethiopia, Somalia and MOU, they say this is part of regional integration and that is what Ethiopia says, that is what Somaliland says too. One country supported uh, Ethiopia indirectly and that is Algeria reportedly at Arab League meeting yesterday. Thank you for watching.